Okay, guys, so let's find out this number. Find a 10-digit number using the digit 0 to 9 exactly once, where the first digit is divisible by 1, the first two digits as a whole number is divisible by 2, the first three digits as a whole number is divisible by 3, and so forth. We need each number to be divisible by the place that it's in. Let's give each place a variable. In order to be divisible by 10, it needs to end in a 0. In order to be divisible by 5, it has to end in a 0 or a 5, but the zero's already been used, so this is going to be 5. And then in order to be divisible by an even number, it itself must be even, so the 2, 4, 6, or 8 must occur in one of these spots, which leaves the remaining 1, 3, 7, 9 in the odd spots. In order for a number to be divisible by 3, the sum of the digits must be divisible by 3. And same thing for 6, they must also be divisible by 3. Since we know a plus b plus c has to be divisible by 3, it's enough just to say d plus e plus f is divisible by 3. And then the same logic applies to g plus h plus i. We already know the e is equal to 5. So let's focus on this right now. Given these values for d and these values for f, these are all the possible scenarios. And here are the values that they add up to. 15 is the only one that's divisible by 3. These other ones aren't divisible by 3, so we can get rid of these, and we know that d plus 5 plus f must be 15. Let's clean this up and bring this up, and then let's subtract 5 from both sides to get d plus f equals 10. Looking at d and f, these are the only scenarios that would give us 10. So next, let's look at a, b, c, d. We know that that must be divisible by 4. For any number, if the last two digits are divisible by 4, that means that the whole number is going to be divisible by 4. So we can just focus on c, d. Well, looking up here, c can be any of these numbers. And then looking at all the possible values for D, these are all the possible values for C, D. But only these outer ones are actually divisible by 4. These inner ones are not. And these are the situations where D is 8 or D is 4. So that gets rid of these two scenarios up here. But let's get rid of this and get rid of this and bring these up. So now let's look at D, E, F. We already know that E is 5. And then we know that D can be 6 or 2. And then F would have to be 4 or 8. So these are the only two possible values for D, E, F. Next, let's look at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It must be divisible by 8. Any number that has the last three digits divisible by 8 itself will be divisible by 8. So let's focus on F, G, H. First, we know that F can only be 4 or 8. But G and H still have a lot of possibilities. So these are all the possibilities for F, G, H. But most of these are not divisible by 8. So we only have to check four scenarios. Let's look at 8, 1, 6. So this 8, 1, 6 comes from the 258. So in this scenario, G is equal to 1, H is equal to 6, and 1 plus 6 is 7. So in order for 7 plus I to be divisible by 3, I could be 2, but in this scenario, D has to be 2. I could be 5, but E has to be 5. And I could be 8. The F is already 8. So this is not possible. So 816 is not a possibility. Next, we can look at the 896. That also comes from this 258. So we can plug in 9 for the G and 6 for the H. And that leaves only one scenario to make this divisible by 3. And that's if I is 3. And 3 is not being used by D, E, or F. So this might work. So up here for D, let's plug in 2. For F, let's plug in 8. For G, it's going to be the 9. And then for H, it's going to be the 6. And then the I is 3. Well, now we've used up the 2, 8, and 6, so that means B is 4. We've also used up the 9 and the 3, so these 9s and 3s can go away. So that just leaves us with A and C trying to figure out which one's 1 and which one is 7. Well, let's try divisible by 7. So one scenario uses the 1, 4, 7, and the other scenario is going to use the 7, 4, 1. So we just got to figure out which one of these is divisible by 7. Neither one is divisible by 7. So none of this is going to work. So 8, 9, 6 is out. And that also means 2, 5, 8 is out. So let's get rid of this. Now let's reset this stuff. Well, we know it has to be 6, 5, 4 for D, E, F. So I can change this D into a 6 and change this F into a 4. And if you look at both of these scenarios, they both end in a 2, which means the H has to be 2. And since we've used up 2, 4, and 6, that means B must be 8. And this is not based on a scenario. We know all this for a fact. We can see this middle number has to be a 3 or a 7, so we know that G is either 3 or 7. Let's clean this up. Next, let's focus on this G, H, I. So these are all possible scenarios. And we need the sum of these to add up to 3. These two don't. So we can get rid of those. For these remaining four, let's check out all the numbers before. We know the DEF is 654, and we know that B is equal to 8. So since we're using the 3 and the 1 here, that only leaves 7 and 9 for the A and the C. Or the A and C could be 9 and 7. Same idea here. We're using the 3 and the 7. That leaves 9 and 1 for A and C, or 1 and 9. And the same logic fills out the rest of this. So now if we get rid of the HI, we can check for division by 7 again. So we can chop that, divide by 7, and do that to the rest of these. Well, this first one's not divisible by 7. In fact, none of these are divisible by by seven except for this one. So this is the only possibility that works. Let's clear this, bring this up. We don't need this anymore or this. So we now know for a fact A must be three, C must be one, and G must be seven. And the only digit not being used is nine. And this is the answer. 3816547290. How exciting.